two days in a row you've got it. Give me cheating, practicing. When it comes to competition clay shooting, for the average shooter at least, more often than not, fun usually isn't the order of the day. The annual Benelli Sporto shoot turns that concept on its head. Welcome to the most relaxed and fun clay comp of the year. 100 birds, 12 stands, a huge variety of presentations, and an even bigger variety of Benelli and Beretta semi-automatic shotguns. Every year in the UK, Benelli put on a shoot especially for semi-automatics. You're allowed to use a Beretta, a Benelli, a Frankie, or a Stoga. All the semis from the Beretta stable. And we're here today, mate. We are. You are an ardent Benelli fan. I am, mate, nowadays. I didn't used to be. You brought me into the world of Benelli. They are the finest semi-automatic on earth, sort they are. of. And I remember you telling me that. So I'm shooting the Ethos Super Sport, which is pretty cool, might I add. Brand new out. I know, pretty sexy. And I'm shooting the new A400. But we're the wrong people to tell you about this. We got the professionals to show you what we're shooting. The great thing about Benelli's is they use the inertia system. This particular model is the Ethos Super Sport. The inertia system makes them more reliable, can cycle quicker, which means that you get that uh, second target acquisition much quicker. Low maintenance, you don't have any gases that you would do. Benelli, it's an extremely clean system. It's less muzzle flip, and it also has less recoil. This new model has ported barrels. The new Comfort Tech 3 system has this chevron system here, which reduces recoil by up to 50%. Soft cheek piece here, which reduces belt recoil it looks sexy with this carbon fiber finish and is definitely going to win with this gun josh brown was responsible for setting up the course for today i thought we should catch up with him and get the lowdown on what was about to come josh brown course setter of the year has set this course i'm interested to see how we get on mate well wow, high expectations because i say there's no rules obviously there's no there's no limits with what you can set so it's, it's a bit of fun obviously you've got full use of going on some of the stands you've got on report pairs triples um yeah it's good fun the bit i think will catch you out is the timing the yeah timing yeah. and the way around shooting some of these targets when you've got three yeah. targets in the air at the right time you've got to pick the right target for the wrong target. yeah exactly and it's like the on report pairs also says i think it's three or four stands out they've got two targets on them so um you've got obviously got three shots we've only got two plays in the air so it's deciding as soon as you take that first shot, the second play is on its way. So if you miss it, do you try and go again or do you, do you set up the other shot, yeah. the other play? So it's, it's sort of getting that set up, I guess, and it's working fun. out what we're going to do. Yeah, and that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. and having some issues with those auto. Let's go inside and he can whine all about it. <laughs> fine, mate. Fine. But if you want to shoot this, no. shoot this. No. That's it, I'm shooting the Benelli, that's fine. It suits the camera. If I lose, I lose. Where's number one? Right there. That number one's down, is it? Yeah. Second one. Two days in a row you've got it. I'll take the two in through ones. Go on straight it, go on, get in. They're all lying. Just told him that he hasn't changed a thing. And I pretty much guess you asked them to put that shim in because you knew what oh, shim yeah, I didn't yeah, like. They made it too short and changed it in the wrong way. Yeah. Do you want me to go and show you the shot cam footage of that bee bird crossing the trees? And the you just get the shot cam footage trees. from America. The first stand was comprised of a trio on report. First target, bang. Second target comes, bang. Third target comes, bang. full use of a three-shot semi-automatic. We were lucky enough to be squatted with Alex and Tim from the London Beretta Gallery and the legend that is Don Brunt. I'm ready for a trade. No, sod you. You didn't want to trade when it didn't suit you. No, I did. I think that's what's wrong. I was ready. No, I remember him saying something about... We're, we're oh, sharing guns today. Well, let him whinge. <laughs> Stand three was a single left to right looper bird. After you'd shot at it, a true pair was released. In theory, simple. In practice, a serious test of concentration and skill. How many stands in? Four stands in, we're Evan Stevens. Although I do think I hit that bird with the last shell that she called no. Oh, I think you hit the bank first, but I had a thing. I don't know. I was only half looking. So, do you think it hit? 
We'll put it as the bonus point at the end. <laughs> the draw, you can win. Stand five and six were another set of on-report trios. A nice break from the madness and a chance for me to claw back a couple of points on end. I would have told the people of your level, people of your level don't suffer from stress or distraction. Oh. My level? You're quite good. I beat Don Brunt. I beat Don Brunt. All that stuff I was you saying beat about Dumbrunt. never beating Don Brunt. Beat Dumbrunt. I beat Don Brunt. Stand seven was home to the second biggest target on the place. A real big looper. Oh. And tactics really came in again. About the distance, about about the distance that. of that aeroplane. Do I donate two shots to the big looper if I miss? Or save my effort for the rabbit? Do I put four guaranteed in the bank? Or do I go for glory if I miss that first shot? Have fun. I'm not having fun. I'm with you. I'm with you and I never Extra win to beat Don Brunt. Those jams he had count as one point loss every jam. <laughs> I mean, that's an insult. <laughs> Stand eight was our first simultaneous trio. I've had a ball in here. You yeah. haven't seen what's coming yet. And a nice simple introduction to the concept. Pick your target, shoot your target, move on to the next was the plan. And for most of us, it actually came together well. I don't know about you, mate, but this could be the favourite scored event I have ever been to. Definitely, definitely. Good fun. It's fun. Everyone here is having fun. There's different names and different faces because people are coming here to have fun. We forced our squad to have fun and yeah. throw their squad in the bin. Even though they don't like it. But they're liking it now. Yeah, they're getting there. Yeah. On this one, I mean, I dropped one on this one, but it's literally a stupid mistake. That was just bad timing, mate. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we'll carry on. We've got three more stands. Uh, no, 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 12 stands, four more stands. Four more stands. Perfect, go give it a go. We're going to try and shoot this the wrong way around because there's an obvious way to shoot it in a stupid way, which Ant tried. We're going to try it the stupidest way, which would be... Can we just see them quickly? It's going to be the right, middle, left. Uh, up, bang, bang. It's got to be the teal last. Yeah, yeah. Teal last. Teal last. Teal last, yeah, yeah. Oh, he had all the time in the world. Yeah, it wasn't bad. He had all the time in the world, but... Yeah, come on, there's an actual professional shot, an actual proper world target. champion. Hey, hey what a hero. It's easy. It's easy when you've seen someone. It's zeroed in now, it won't miss again, all right. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm glad that we've got him on hand, really. I love it when somebody takes Johnny's smugness, crumbles it up into a ball and pokes it up his pooper. I was really falling in love with the ethos. And seeing as one of these was a top prize today, I was currently wishing I was slightly shorter, vastly more talented, and generally more lucky. Yeah. So that was a little bit of a nightmare. Very interesting one though. Uh, that was beautiful. Uh, I yeah. loved the first shot. The second shot I knew. I shorted, that sounds stupid. Oh, that's where you want that little bit more weight in the gun because yeah. you need to maintain the gap. Otherwise, it's so timing back and it's a big lump of a gap. I rushed off in front of it, overlaid it with the first shot, and then stopped the gun to close the gap and punked at it twice, which then was behind yeah, it. So, but you know, it's in front, behind, the boys, behind. and we're boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to see a man go in. John Brunt. He's sexy, man. I've crept one back. He's I've crept just one crept back. one back on that stand. That's all to play for. Yeah. But, Stand five was up on a platform. And with the sun straight in my face, I was really struggling to see the looper at the back, which was plowing through the air. I did not see many people hit that consistently. This was followed by a simple going away and a sneaky little incomer. Pick it up a bit earlier, mate. If you come back a bit early, you can Pick see it up there. a bit early. <laughs> no, you can see it there, then it disappears, and then it dis you can see it at the end. Guaranteed, you look close to the trap. Guarantee you, you can see it earlier. You can see can. that. How did you do that one, mate? Uh, that was humiliating, mate. I got a four. I don't think you did. I thought you got one that. I mean, I, aspiration, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Straight in. But did you not get at them? No, not enough. Okay. Maybe next not time. Not enough. We get at them. We'll get at them more. If stand 11 was at the beginning of the course, it wouldn't have been quite so challenging. However, having had the physical and mental challenges given to you by this point, as well as the extreme distractions and fun we were having, <laughs> where do you think you're going wrong? There wasn't a lot left in the tank to consistently shoot the five-yard rabbit and the 30-yard mini. 
I've no idea. I know where to kill it just before it hits the ground. Where Perfect. to kill it at the top, I've no idea. I reckon With Johnny's getting a bit gun. tired and he's getting a bit wavery now and his score's just going to plummet now. Because when you're so certain, you can't even be bothered to shoot it with a second shot. I was going to say, I thought you were that confident that you just didn't even pull the trigger. On to the last stand of the day. <laughs> well, this is the last chance we get to play this game, Don. Another simultaneous trio. One standard, two middies, all coming from more or less the same spot. Ooh. One. Ah, bit one. more, mate. Bit more. You had to pick those targets up quick, break the first one, and move on to the second two. Again, in short order, accurately and swiftly. This isn't like standard sporting. Get out correctly. You want to bring a big dollop of aggression. The one that you usually leave in the cartridge bag and take your calm head into the stand. I thought at this point I might actually put a good score in on this stand. But this is what friends are for. Oh no! <laughs> that was good fun. Good fun. Happy by two, mate. Well done. Thank you very much, Happy mate. Happy by two. Happy by Beautifully two. done. It's a good job it's not a clay No, it's definitely a clay tour. <laughs> you don't know that. It happens that when you win, the winner can make it into a clay tour if they want. That was great fun, mate. Oh, that was something else, wasn't it? Completely different to what we normally do. I, and I meant what I meant, I said earlier, and it didn't get any worse, even though there were some silly misses towards the end and all sorts of things, that this has been great fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you make of it? You shot the Benelli, we had that switch over at the start. I, I loved it, I loved it. And when I smoked that back target, I was like, this gun does the business, but it just does take a little while where it's so light to find the sight pictures that work for this gun. Yeah, definitely. The only reason I didn't want to shoot that gun is because the sight picture was wrong for me. The beauty about Benelli is they have the shim system to fit it in. So yep. you can just alter that shim. If we had time and the shim's here, we could have swapped it over and I would have loved to shoot that. That was a stupid lack of forethought on my part, really. A little bit, but you know, I shot the Beretta, the Beretta is- You shot it well. Yeah, it's, it's designed for small Italian men and apparently I am small and Italian. And Yorkshire. And Yorkshire a little bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, loved it to bits. I grew up shooting Beretta Autos, my old man. It was his go-to gun. I love it. As we headed back to Barbary's beautiful clubhouse and had a drink and something to eat, we sat around waiting for the scores to come in. There were rumours that there was a 96 on the scoreboard. 96 round a clay course is usually exceptional and impressive, but 96 around this clay course is superhuman. There was, however, a tie for second place. Beneath 96, the next highest score was a 93, and there were two people tied for this, which means it was time for a shoot-off. The second clay as per all day on the first bang, okay? Derek will be refing it. Pull, pull when you want to see them. Oh. I really love a shoot-off. There's an excitement and an atmosphere that you don't get on any other part of a sporting course. The mental fortitude and ability of both of these gentlemen is commendable. To step up in front of a crowd and get out the targets that Josh was throwing out took some stones. These were not gimmies. Shoot off over, it was time for the winners to collect their prizes. A few quick thank yous, first of all to Barbary for hosting this event and they've done an amazing job. Also to GMK team and obviously all the refs and our co-sponsors Ely and Clay Shooter. And the veterans, first place Andy Moon, Riley Few, so next the juniors, Seacars, third place Andy Moon, Joe Smith and in first place Argon Ismet. And that was that. The Benelli Sporto done for another year. By far and away, the most fun clay shoot out there. Those who have been unfortunate enough to be squatted with me and Ant in the past will understand that we do go out for fun. The golden rule is, we're not good enough to win, clay shooting costs money, and so you might as well have fun doing it. 
this shoot enables that attitude. You can go and put good scores in and enjoy yourself. Or like me and Ant, you can go and put average scores in and really enjoy yourself. I cannot wait until next year. I might just bring a stock spacer for the Benelli though. Thanks for watching guys and thank you to Benelli for putting on such a brilliant shoot.